They came from near and far on a beautiful day, but they're motivated by the life and the ultimate sacrifice of Wake County Deputy Ned Bird. He's a veteran lawman killed in the line of duty on August the 12th. I was a former uh, Wake County deputy, so this was really close to home for me. So I figured that we would just honor him by doing a big ride. Among the hundreds honoring Bird, riders like Joni Medlock with no direct ties to police work. She says she rode. Because when I heard what happened, it touched my heart and I just felt that I needed to be part of it. Former Sheriff Donnie Harrison very emotional as he told us. We lost a good man for no reason whatsoever. And to see this outpouring of support, that tells you people are behind law enforcement. And we just got to keep on. Organizers say money raised by the ride will assist Deputy Bird's partner. There is registration that's $20, and we've created Operation Fire Flag stickers that say WCSO Deputy Bird on them. And that money, we're going to put it towards Sasha, who was his, his canine. So whatever she needs, whether we can get her a tracking vest or a new kennel or whatever, whatever she needs at this point. Nathan Shepard appreciates the response from first responders and people like Joni Medlock. Really, unless you've been there, you don't know what these people face every single day. And, and it goes beyond law enforcement, firefighters, EMTs, dispatchers, you know, and, and military. So those people really serve the community. He and others who honored the fallen deputy this way know the challenges men and women in uniform face daily. Things can go from sugar to ish real quick. The amount of people showing up today shows that they still believe in, in law enforcement. Two brothers arrested and charged with Bird's murder could be sentenced to life in prison if convicted. Anthony Wilson, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.